The random jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle, Supernatural Stang Top More, as the sun began to set on a calm evening, casting a warm golden glow over the picturesque countryside, a gentle breeze rustled through the trees and whispered secrets to those who were willing to listen. It was on this tranquil evening that Sarah, an adventurous soul with an affinity for the supernatural, decided to embark on a journey to Stang Top Moor. Sarah had heard tales of mysterious happenings and spectral encounters in the area, and her curiosity urged her to explore the moor's enigmatic beauty. Equipped with a map, a sense of wonder, and a dash of trepidation, she set off from the Sparrow Hawk, eager to uncover the secrets that lay ahead. Following the path indicated, Sarah traversed the idyllic lawned house farm and Marles Hill accompanied only by the sounds of her footsteps and the occasional bird song. As she passed Noggarth End Farm, a fleeting glimpse of movement caught her eye, but when she turned to investigate, there was nothing there. Undeterred, Sarah continued her journey, guided by the dristone walls that stretched across the land escape. The views of Pendle Hill promised a breathtaking spectacle, but the weather obscured their grandeur. Yet, she felt a strange presence accompanying her, as if unseen eyes watched her every step. Crossing Noggarth Road and traversing the stile, Sarah found herself in another field, where the path seemed to disappear amidst the tall grass. She pressed forward, guided by an unshakable intuition, until she reached Ridge Lane, where she turned northwest and followed the road. A sign pointing to Thorneyham Farm beckoned her, and she found herself venturing through the quaint cottages her heart quickening with anticipation. Soon, she reached a gate, and the murmur of white half-water invited her to follow its meandering path. Against her better judgment, Sarah decided to deviate from the planned route, venturing into a steep ascent through a dense plantation. As she emerged from the trees, disappointment settled upon her when she discovered the closure of the permissive footpath to the Akin Wood Nature Trail. She realized the importance of preparedness and made a mental note to always carry a reliable map. With a new direction in mind, Sarah made her way towards Bali, keeping the plantation to her left. Despite a few missteps along the way, the allure of the journey fueled her determination. Passing by Lower Black Moss Reservoir, she longed to explore the Pendle Sculpture Trail, yet circumstances conspired against her. The path led her to a derelict building and a stile, where she entered a small field dotted with newly planted trees. Following the muddy path, she eventually found herself back on the road, contemplating the easy or alternative she had initially overlooked. Veering right, Sarah discovered a finger post sign leading her into Black Moss Farm. Amongst the walls and steps, she encountered a momentary confusion caused by a missing wall, reminding her of the ephemeral nature of the world around her. Finally, she reached the pinnacle of her journey, Stangtop Moor Trig Point and Old Quarry. The working farm might have given the area a scruffy appearance, but the panoramic views that unfolded before her eyes were nothing short of breathtaking. She stood at the intersection of nature and civilization witnessing the contrasting beauty of Burnley's urban sprawl and Pendle Hill's majestic moors. Descending from the moor, Sarah followed the fence that led her to the outdoor centre at White Huff. The path split, and she chose the one on the right, passing through short sections of trees until she reached the road. She turned left, and soon the familiar bridge over White Huff water came into view. As dusk settled upon the land, Sarah opted for a different route back following Narragates and eventually merging onto Bali New Road. Aware that time was slipping away, she decided to stick to the roads for a while, guided by the fading light. As she climbed the steep ridge lane, Sarah couldn't help but feel a tinge of sadness that her journey was drawing to a close. Noggarth Road led her back to civilization, passing by a cozy cafe known as Noggarth Cottage a haven for weary travellers. The final stretch of the walk unfolded on Sandy Hall Lane, adorned by charming houses that whispered tales of the past. Before long, Wheatley Lane Road appeared, and Sarah turned right, knowing that the Sparrow Hawk awaited her at the end of this adventure. Sarah's walk to Stangtop Moor had been more than a physical journey, it had been an exploration of the supernatural and a dance with the spirits of the land. As she reached her destination, a sense of fulfillment settled within her, 
the tales of ghosts and spirits had come alive in her heart, forever intertwining with the memories of her enchanting journey through the mystical Stangtop Moor by Donald J.